Hi guys, my name is Ashen Paul and I am going to give you some tips to take up the role of Toastmaster of the day. The role of a Toastmaster of the day or Thea Modi is like oxygen, invisible but vital. Doesn't mean you should hide behind a wall but the idea is not to be the boss but to make sure you are the catalyst for a great meeting. The main duty is to act as a genial host and conduct the entire program. Now the question could be when can you start taking up this role? Once you are comfortable with the format and people of a Toastmasters club, a few weeks into being a member, speak to the Vice President Education to get a slot as the Toastmaster. But you might ask, what's in it for me? Firstly, a TMOD role is the perfect marriage between a prepared and an impromptu role. You must be prepared with certain content, but also tweak it on the spot to cater to the mood of the meeting. This will make you a well-rounded speaker. Secondly, being the Toastmaster develops your skill to read the audience's reaction better, which is very crucial for a public speaker. Thirdly, it sharpens your skills like time management, listening, planning and creativity. Now, let's take a look at what should you do prior to a meeting. Number one, check with the Vice President Education to find out if a special theme needs to be set for the meeting. Else, pick up an interesting theme. The theme is an anchor for a Toastmasters meeting and it sets the mood. For example, an upcoming festival, memories from childhood, or a motivational quote, etc. Number two, work with the Vice President Education to check for the attendance of all meeting assignees. Number three, Prepare a script for your role for a smooth meeting. Here are a few tips on how to prepare the script. Number 1. Prepare content around the theme and the agenda. Use internet, books, your personal stories and experiences and other relevant sources to load yourself with sufficient ammunition like short stories, quotes, poems, activities, etc. around the theme and mix it all together in a natural flow. These can be used to transition between two segments in a meeting. Number 2. Collect basic information about Toastmasters movement and the club. Have a few facts and figures handy on the inception, operation and culture of the Toastmasters movement and the club. This can be used to educate the guests about the rich history of the movement and how it operates. Number 3. Out of the world introductions. A good introduction works like an energy and a confidence booster for the upcoming speaker. Hence, connect some interesting and funny facts about the role takers. You can also use the theme as an anchor for the introductions. Make sure you boost the confidence of the speaker which will add to the success of the speaker's presentation. Now let's see what to do at the meeting. Number 1. Arrive early in order to finish last minute details. Number 2. Check with the Vice President Education 
on assignee attendance and help him fill it if there is any absence. Number three, speak with sincerity, energy and decisiveness. The general mood of a meeting depends on the Toastmaster. You could either put people to sleep or elate them to ecstasy with your role. Number four, making the other role takers feel like a king is your responsibility and always lead the applause. Number five, look for interesting points from the other speakers that can be used to bridge gaps between segments. Number six, feel free to bridge gaps with small activities to use your prepared content or inviting comments from guests at the end of a meeting. Number seven, request for timer's report and everyone to fill up the ballots. So those were a few tips on how to go about the role of Toastmaster of the day. We don't remember days, we remember moments. I mentioned that the Toastmaster's role is like oxygen, invisible but vital. Oxygen also enables ignition. So be the oxygen of a meeting and ignite the experience of the members so that the moment becomes truly memorable.